This is Film Masters. On this episode, we're going to be making a transition spin effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Down below in the comments section is a download link which contains two 4K video files. Now, one of them is Yoda, Statue of Yoda from the front of ILM located in San Francisco. And the other one is of the Muir Woods, which is located over the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge. Also in the download pack is a little bit of a cheat preset. I'm gonna show you how to install that at the end of this tutorial. Now, first of all, I'm gonna select my two clips and put them on the timeline. Now, because they are in 4K, a little warning is going to pop up. And that is because the project that I'm currently editing in is 1440 by 1080. So let's select keep the sequence settings. Now, because we're dealing with 4K, what we need to do is select each clip, go up to our effects controls, go to scale and drop it to 50%. I'm going to select the other clip and do exactly the same. Now, the reason again is because we're working in 4K and our project settings are actually 1440 by 1080. So what I want to do is give some extra room to play with with this effect. So I'm going to move the play ahead now forward and backwards. And as you can see, it's just a simple cut. So I'm going to centralize the play ahead now, and I'm going to move using the left and right arrow keys on my keyboard three backwards and press control shift K to make the cut. If you want to make the cut freehand, press C on the keyboard and that's a shortcut. Otherwise, uh, select the uh, cutting tool and you can make the cut that way. So I'm going to move back to the middle of the cut and I'm going to move forward using the forward arrow three. So three spaces and I'm going to make a cut there. Control shift K. Now we're going to use an effect from the presets called transform. So we're going to come over here, type in trans and the preset transform will appear. And I'm going to drop that onto the first cut clip. So the three uh, frames and I'm going to do the same with the next one. Now the reason I'm using transform is let's say, for example, I go up and I select the motion size rotation what will happen is I won't be able to use the shutter. And obviously when we use transform, it's got a shutter angle in it and that's what we want to use. So we're gonna be using the shutter angle in this. Now I wanna make sure that the scale height and the scale width work together. So what I need to do is put a tick in the box over here and that will allow me to uniform the scale. And now I'll put a keyframe in scale and I'll also put a keyframe in rotation. I'm gonna move the playhead now back to the end of the clip by pressing down and set the rotation to 20%. And then I'm gonna move up to scale. I'm gonna change the scale size to 170. So if we have a look at what we've done, you'll notice that when we move forward and backwards, it zooms in and starts to rotate. Now we're gonna do the opposite now to the other clip. So I'm gonna start at the very beginning of our second clip now. I'm gonna select uniform scale. I'm now gonna put a keyframe in scale and rotation. And I'm gonna make rotation 20 degrees. And then I'm gonna go up to scale. I'm gonna change the scale to 170. Once I've done that, I'm gonna to go to the very end of our second clip, the clip that we've cut. And we're gonna uh, make some changes. We're gonna change the scale back to 100% and change the rotation now to zero. And once I've done that, we're gonna have a look. And as you can see, it zooms in it rotates to a 20 degree on one direction and then on the other returns back. And you can see that by shuttling the playhead back and forward. Now, the next thing we need to turn off is the use composition shutter angle because we're gonna be using the manual shutter angle and we're gonna change that to 220. And that will give us a blur as you can see when I shuttle through. Now, if I was to use the composition shutter angle, it wouldn't look as natural as what we've got at the moment. But if I play it through, you can see we've got this nice spin effect happening with a nice speed blur. Now, as I was saying at the very beginning of this tutorial, down below in the video description on this video is a download pack. And in that pack contains a spin transform preset that I created. And I'll show you how to load them up and it's gonna cut down a lot of your time when it comes to making this effect. So if you are putting together a spin effect for an edit, you can download these and use them to your heart's content. So let's get straight into that. So here we are in Adobe's Premiere Pro. I've got the two clips already on the timeline. To enter the presets, just go to preset and go to import presets find the file that you've downloaded, select it, select open, 
and we've got the presets in there. In the presets folder, you can see there's two presets. One is spin transition in, and the other is spin transition out. So it's nice and easy. And all we need to do is make the cut where we want them. So let's go back three spaces and put a cut there. So again, control shift and K for cut is a shortcut for those. So three frames each side of the cut. And all we need to do is drag and drop them on there. So I'm going to grab the first one, which is in and put that on. And I'll get the next preset, which is that spin transition out preset. And I'll put that onto the other one. Now, one thing you'll notice as well is you can obviously go in there and already start to customize it. So if you've got a different size framing that you'd like to change the size on the frame itself or the scale, I should say, you can do that as well. But there you go. It's nice and simple. So you can go through the steps I just showed you or you can be lazy like me, download the presets and use them.